I'd like to introduce you to a tool that will help you in creating videos, particularly when you're doing screen captures like this. We have some text on the left hand side here which is very very small and we have a tool that allows us to zoom in to see that text. Also it allows us to write on the screen as well as zoom in even farther if we want. So we can be really clear about what we're talking about. Also if we want, we can increase the size of the actual coloring drawing that we're doing. We also can change its color and we can do some pretty cool things. Zooming in, zooming out, just using the scroll bar. Pressing escape key turns off the draw mode. Pretty cool stuff. So let's take a look at this tool. It's called Zoom It and let's zoom in on that. And so Zoom It and it was written back a few years ago and he did it for his own purposes and that was to put on presentations. It allows you to have, like I said, this pin for drawing but it also has some other very unique characteristics and that is that once you're drawn in you can zoom in on the image, you can draw around on it, but you also can do something called typing. So you can start, just hit it here and um, start typing in the old famous hello world on the programming side of things. So there you have it. When you're done typing, you press escape and it takes you out of the zoom mode. So let's take a look at how that would how this program works and how it runs. So to do that we're going to minimize the screen here, go to the tray where it sits and pull up the options. Now I'm not in zoom mode anymore, so I can't zoom in on the zoom it screen like I would like to. But Zoom it version 4.1. It's got a link here where you can go to get it. You can freeze the video and take a look at that if you want. But by pressing Control 1, it moves you into the zoom mode. There's a live zoom, works on Vista and some other advanced pro systems. Drawing allows you to change colors by pressing a number, excuse me, by pressing a letter. You can also do Control Z to un release the last thing you drew or you can press the uh, right right button and it clears all your drawing. You can exit the mode there. Copy. There's a lot of instructions here. You can save the screen that you've been working on. You can copy the screen that you've been working on. You can set yourself up a completely clear sketch pad and just start drawing on the sketch pad with either a W or a K. So some pretty cool things here with the draw mode. You can just go right into draw with, without a zoom. You can go to type mode here. You can set the font by changing the fonts here, changing their size, characteristics, and then that's what you'll be typing with when you type. And then the break mode allows you to press a number and it goes into break mode showing a timer and it counts down. Now this particular timer, the way I have it set up, will actually show up in the top right hand corner. I want to change that to show in the middle of the screen. I'm using a faded background. I could use my own custom image if I wanted and at the end of the break it's going to show a time. So that's what we're going to do there. Let's set it down to be something a little more reasonable and say OK. And so here we go. I'm going to go into timer mode and now you're in timer mode counting down. And you can see it's pretty simple how the system works. Boom. I can control tab away from that and I can go to other products. I can show you other things on the screen and we can work our way down the screen. Meanwhile the timer is still running in the background. So let's say you're putting on a presentation about lead generation systems and you get done to a certain point and you want to take a break. Well you just go right over to the break mode. Shrink that down and the break's still going on. Okay folks we're going to end the break here in just a couple minutes. It allows you to compensate for that creature feature stuff which is so important. And so when it gets to the end of the countdown it will actually have sound a timer. And then with the timers done, you can go back into your presentation. So let's listen for that, see how that turns out. Here we go. And now, folks, you're late. Let's <laughs> see how that goes. Pressing escape takes us out of that mode. I take that back, it doesn't. Pressing control one does. Okay, so that's, that's that, where we are there. So we can continue on with the presentation. So that's it today. We have a cool tool for today.